Good A's, good A's, your boys, I'm back here with another video, and in this video today, guys, we're going to be going over and talking about each and every one of the new iconic cards, as well as the Clutch Time Online Reward, K-Love and NBA 2K24, my team. Something that's important to know, guys, every card that's a Galaxy Opal here, outside of Kevin Love, is behind gambling, so... Again, I, am I going to go over the cards in this video? Yes. Am I going to be doing gameplays of any of those cards? No. Like, unless 2K gives us a free pack, like a deluxe pack that they gave us a couple weeks ago, and I happen to pull one of them, like, I'm just not in the mood to, to deal with the gambling stuff. And I'd encourage you guys to do the same thing. Like, act like those top players don't even exist. I mean, if we go back to past weeks, guys, it's the same thing. Most of those cards I have not played against. Now, some of these budget guys, gotta hope they are good. Starting it off with Pink Diamond, Mikhail Bridges up first. 6672 wing is span. 95 3 ball, 92 speed. Really solid defensively. The one downside I see to Mikhail Bridges is this, right? If you're gonna use Mikhail and he's gonna be this lockdown defender, the 63 block does scare me a little bit. Like, I wish I was a little bit higher. Obviously, solid defense. Hall of Fame blow by speed booster. Really solid shooting wise. Kale Bridge is based on normal timing. That release is not great, guys. I'm not saying it's unusable. I'm not saying, you know, you can't use it and have some success with it. Just saying it's not great. Normal dribble style, normal leaner. He is not worth the 115 price tag. He's not. A guy like Peyton Watson, in my opinion, is going to bring you more success than Mikhail Bridges. And I know that's going to make a lot of people mad, but that's just the truth. Like, Peyton Watson's release is going to be better. Peyton Watson's player build is going to be way better. Mikhail Bridges is not very good. And if you spend your MT on him, you are going to be let down. Jeff Green up next, 115,000 MT is 6'8", 7'1", wingspan, 88 3 ball, 91 speed, 93 lateral quickness. I feel like Jeff Green in past years has had some good cards. Just feel like this year it's going to be tough. Defensively, really solid. And that's the best thing for Jeff Green. The thing about it is no immovable enforcer does hurt his card. Good shooting badges, obviously. Uh, just an all-around good player. But he's got the Joel Embiid dribble style. Like, I, is, is that what I'm supposed to sit here and hype up? We are almost in mid-March. We're in early March to almost mid-March. He's got the Joe LMB dribble style. And the Jeff Green release, is it something that is fine? Sure, but it's not something that I'm going to hype up, gas up. Jeff Green is fine. If you play him, he's going to hold it down for you guys on the court. But his hot spots aren't great. His release is only on normal timing. because his dribble style stinks. I can't sit there and hype him up too much. Card I, I think is going to be absolutely fantastic. It's this man right here. In Pink Diamond, Franz Wagner. Because even if nothing changes from Franz, like his, even if his release doesn't change, his, even if, you know, all the things stay the same, I still like this card. Now, let's talk about why. Well, I think it's you got to start with this. Franz, based on normal timing, is it, fine. Is it? Do I wish it was on quick? Obviously, you know, any improvement to that would just make it that slightly better, a little bit better. That would obviously help the card out. Now, with that being said, it's still a solid release on normal timing. So, that's just something... To think about for you guys, D-Book Dribble Style, Normal Leaner, all that's fine. 94 3 ball, 92 speed, 93 lateral quickness, 90 driving duck, good speed ball, ball handle, offensively half range, blow by speed booster defensively. Wish he had immovable enforcer again, but can get the rest of the badges, Hall of Fame clamps, glove. Just a really solid card, 610 at the two. Now, a lot of people are going to be asking, Ty, is he worth 126,000 MT? For me personally, that price is still so steep. Like, Franz Wagner is good. He's not great, though. You know, he's, it's not like he got his release on quick. It's not like, you know, he, he, he gets immovable enforcer. Like, card is still not perfect. So, before you spend your MT, I just want you guys to be aware. Like, yes, I think Franz is good. I think he's a card that can definitely probably help your squad out. But he is not perfect. Can't really be your primary boiler. Can't be a lockdown defender. So, he's just kind of out there. Like, yes, he's really good at a lot of different things. But it's not like he can run your offense. It's not like he's going to be guarding your opponent's best player. Is he a versatile defender that fits that switch off? meta of my team yes absolutely but i'm just telling you guys 126,000 mt is still a little steep of a price for franz wagner in my opinion now a lot of people might come back well ty what else am i supposed to do with my mt and that's a good question that's a good counterpoint because there's really nothing to do with your mt right now but i feel like you know spending on mid players still is not the solution franz is good but again, that's a pretty a steep price to pay. Hassan Whiteside up next. Let's start with his release. 
Hassan Whiteside bass. I don't know what that release is like. I'd be lying to sit up here and tell you, oh yeah, I've used the Hassan Whiteside bass this year because I just haven't. But I'm guessing it's not good. Basic dribble style, basic leaner, 75, 3 ball, 85 uh, speed defensively. It's good, but I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. This card is not any better than, uh, like, a, I'm, I'm going to say it. Is like he even better than DeAndre Ayton? Like, honestly. People might be like, oh, he's a mini Tyson Chandler. He's not. He's not. Tyson Chandler is way better than Hassan Whiteside. It's not even close. This card is 100% not worth your... Not, and shout out the card art. The card art on these cards is fantastic. But I'm just saying, like, I, I, I don't see it. You know, his speed rating's not great. His player build's going to be good, but is, is, his, is his release going to be good? Again, give me Tyson Chandler over Hassan Whiteside. Not a card I'd look at and be like, man, I need that card. Danny Green up next, 97 three ball and 88 speed. Really solid defensively. Think about Danny Green is you got to think about, about him as like a three and D type player. Again, no immovable enforcer. The reason I talk about that is you cannot apply that badge manually. Obviously, shooting wise, it's going to be fantastic. D book dribble style. But again, Danny Green based on normal timing. Is that something I'm supposed to sit here and hype up? Normal two leaner. But it's, 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 it's another normal timing release. And I get it. Outside of Galaxy Opus, they're not changing these releases. But give me Franz Wagner over Danny Green 100 times out of 100. It's not even close. Franz Wagner is so much better than Danny Green. Do not buy Danny Green. Then you get the, the bad pick diamond, Jason Williams. And again, if you rip packs, realize Jason Williams is going to be the most popular, most common pick diamond that does come out of there. And this card is a dog water card. This card does not play at any level of my team. I go as far as saying Jason Williams and my team basically unusable. That's that's what I'd go as far as the saying. So again, if you want to go and get you do J, get Jason Williams and do your thing with him, I, I look, I can't be the one that can say that it's telling you, you know what? Don't have fun playing 2K. It's white chocolate. But at the end of the day, we have to realize like he's not good. Like if you want to use cards, any of these pink diamonds, do what you gotta do, but none of them are worth their price. Kevin Love. Clutch Time Online reward. So if you win 50 games in Clutch Time Online, you get a Galaxy Opal Kevin Love. Now, he's 6'8 at the power forward position. That's what I want to start with. Because at this stage, there's a reason Kevin Love's a free card. There's a reason. You know, they, they 2K could have put Clay Thompson Will in uh, Clutch Time Online. Instead, they put Kevin Love. They know what they're doing. But he does have hot spots for everywhere. Badge-wise, looks pretty good to me. You know, 58 base badges. That is really solid. 96 three ball, 86 speed, 92 interior, 88 perimeter, 88 lateral. I mean, from what I'm seeing right now, as far as a complete power forward in my team, he's definitely up there. Gets immovable. Gets every badge you could ask for in the entire game. So for a free card, stat badge-wise, Kevin Love is really solid. Let's check out the release of Caleb. Caleb on very quick, gonna be super smooth. MJ Dribble Style Pro 2 Leader. Caleb's good, guys. Caleb is good. I, 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 is he undersized? Yes. Is the card really good? Uh, he's good. I mean, he's got a 97 vertical for Kevin Love. Sure, if you get him, you're gonna wanna upgrade that speed, probably upgrade the defense a little bit. But Kevin Love is good and can play at any level of my team. And definitely a card if you're good at clutch time online, I would try to go and get. DeMarcus Cousins up next, 92 three ball, 90 speed. Defensively, he's just fine. Now, the difference between like a DeMarcus Cousins and a guy like Kevin Love is DeMarcus Cousins is going to just be way taller. That's the big difference here. A lot of the cards are the same. Uh, Boogie's going to be just fine. DeMarcus Cousins based on very quick normal leaner, MJ dribble style. Going to be really solid for what he is. The release of his does scare me a little bit. I don't know how great it's going to be, but it is on very quick, which obviously should help DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, it should help him out. If, if I got him as a Galaxy Opal, I'd be kind of upset just because he's not great. He's good, not great. B.I. Brandon Ingram, 6'8 at the 2, 95, 3 ball, 95 uh, speed, 92 lateral, decent speed ball, ball handle. I am not ever going to hype up Brandon Ingram in 2K. I don't care if his release is on very quick. Pro 3 leaner, I had a debug dribble style. All those things are fine. But when I'm saying that I have not liked a Brandon Ingram card in 2K for so long, I haven't. There's not been a Brandon Ingram card in 2K that I've liked for so long. And so I'm not just going to sit there and hype up this Brandon Ingram. I think he's fine. If you want to use him, do what you got to do. But not a card that I'm like looking at as, oh my gosh, go get Brandon Ingram. This card's solid. You get him out of, you know, out of, out of your packs, I'm sorry, man. He is not great. Jason Kidd. Going to be one of the best point guards in the game. Kyrie dribble style, J-Kid base, so very quick, pro two leaner. He might be your best point guard in the entire game.
Disagree with me all you want. Do it. I dare you. His release is solid. He's got some of the best defense in the game. You can hype up whatever point guard you want to. Like, SGA probably obviously still is better. But trust me when I tell you Jason Kidd is that good. Like, am I ripping for Jason Kidd? No. But trust me, he is that man in my team. Has that release on very quick. He is so tough. Will Chamberlain up next. 76 three ball, 96 speed, 95 ladder quickness. Great rebounding. Can handle the ball. Hoff, immobile enforcer like... What is uh, stat badge wise bad? I mean, the only thing Wilt's not great at is shooting the ball. No hot spots, 76 three ball, but he can get every shooting badge in the game. Pat Ewing base on very quick is going to be just fine. Normal leaner, normal dribble style. The normal dribble style is not great. Normal leaner is not great, especially with the 76 three ball and no hot spots. If you're looking at one of the best defense players in the entire game, Wilt's that. 7 1, good player, bottle player build. I can't hate on Wilt Chamberlain. Now, what I can't hate on is he's behind gambling, and I obviously do not support that. Clay Thompson up next, 99 three ball, 90 speed, perfect defensively. Comes with immovable enforcer, a big bad share. Driving dunk, good. Playmaking, good. Release on very quick. Steph dribble style, uh, uh, pro leaner. I mean, what do you want me to say, guys? Like, the Steph dribble style for him is kind of troll. I don't necessarily love that, but he's still a really good car. I, 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 not a card I can hate on. Penny Hardaway up next. I was hyping up Jason Kidd is the best point guard in the game. Penny Hardaway probably is going to be that. He probably is. 6'7". Now, why do I why, why do I emphasize height so much? Well, people love to switch off. Penny's going to have great interior. He's going to have anchor. The only thing he doesn't have is immovable. He can get every badge in the game. Penny Hardaway based on quick. I'm surprised it's not on very quick, only on quick. MJ dribble style, though. Obviously, what I'm confused. What was Penny's last dribble style? He had AI dribble style, which was obviously good. Is I don't know. I, I'd have to ask the Pro-Am heads what's better, AI or uh, MJ, because I thought the AI dribble style on him was good. Norma Leaner, though, I mean, Penny is still really good. I, I Not a card I can sit here and aid on. So I would say if you get Penny, Will, J Kid, or Clay, I, I would I would be kind of happy uh, if, if those are the cards. Galaxy Opus, you pull out of packs. Brandon Ingram, DeMarcus Cousins, not so much. MJ, MJ base, I'm very quick. Kyrie, dribble style, pro two leaner. I mean, I don't know. MJ, I'm very quick, doesn't really get my attention uh, too much. The Kyrie dribble style is nice. He's going to be able to move and groove, gets every badge in the game. I mean, I, 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 he's, probably, he's your best point guard in the game, but let's be honest. Is he, is he, is he worth it? Is he worth it? opening packs for no he's not like he i'm i i'm sorry to burst your guys's bubble if you want to open packs mj is not worth opening packs for the difference between mj and your best let's say peak diamond point guard i'll just throw out devin booker is not that large in which oh i gotta go get mj for what so you can win an extra unlimited game come on man save your money on this drop today if you want to go get franz wagner grind for kevin love do your thing but until these are not behind gambling do not open packs Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.